Micah, it has been such my pleasure watching you grow from a lovely little girl to the beautiful, smart, caring, responsible young lady you are today. John, you are getting a good one. And John, I can't tell you how elated Terry and I are to be gaining a son-in-law with such character. Can't wait to see how, what y'all do. It's gonna go far. Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining of John and Micah in Christian marriage. And I pray that God will look favorably upon your union that you're forming today. And may your marriage be a blessing to you and to others. It's just a very cool feeling to know someone so well and to know both of you guys. And I'm so excited to be welcoming John into our crazy, awesome Sandra's clan. It's hard to, it's hard to put into words. I was two and a half when he was born, so it's been 27 years. We just have so much love and so much shared memories, uh, which is why I'm so proud we got to experience our entire lives together. So to see him so happy and to see him with just such a beautiful, lovely bride, it's just really special. And I just couldn't be happier as his brother. And don't count me out just yet. We're more than silhouettes. When will we all discover all we need is each other? In the name of God, I, John, take you, Micah, to be my wife to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness or in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. In the name of God, I, Micah, take you, John, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. And now that you, John and Micah, have given of yourselves to each other by your solemn vows and of the giving of hands and the giving of rings, I announce that you are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. John, you may kiss your bride.